Hi, this is Bob for Bob's Movie Reviews, and I just want to remind you that every Friday we have a DVD giveaway, so make sure to subscribe and you can check out that video on Friday. So today we have episode number four of our Wax Movie Reviews, um, and today we have The House of Wax, starring Vincent Price. Um, I'm going to go over this whole DVD. This DVD is kind of neat because uh, in episode three we reviewed... Mystery of the Wax Museum, which are both included in this set. I haven't seen this in forever. I got this, I mean, the movie I just recently watched, but this package I haven't seen. I just, I got this many, many years ago. And, um, basically there's no real special features. It says House of Wax pr Premiere Newsreel. I'm not sure if I even noticed that on the actual DVD. But, uh, let's look at some information on this movie. It is, uh, Directed by Andre de Toth, and it stars Vincent Price, and that's the only person I know from this movie. Vincent Price, pretty famous actor from his time. Um, so let's talk about the movie now. Uh, House of Wax is basically a a remake of Mystery of the Wax Museum. When, when did this one come out? This one came out in '53, so I think the other one, and the other one came out in. Uh, 33. So 20 years later they remade it. So remakes have, are something they've been doing for a long time. And even though they changed the name, it's basically the same exact movie. There's a few subtle changes, but um, it starts off as a guy who is uh, a really good wax sculptor. and He has this great uh, museum of wax figures. And they're, they're like famous figures throughout time and he refuses to do uh, like killing scenes or horror scenes or anything like that, which from the movie sounds to be famous at the time. It's kind of hard to believe that 20 years later, the same all the same stuff applies. I'm not really sure uh, if that's true or not, but um, I guess the popular ones, you know, had uh, murderers, and he he just didn't want to do that. And he has a business partner who's invested a lot of money in it, and he says, "Well, you know what? If you're not going to start making money, then." the insurance is worth more to me. So he decides to burn down the building because the wax figures are insured for like 10000 I can't remember if it was dollars or pounds or what the, what it was. I think in the first one maybe. I can't remember. I'm sorry. but uh, So they get into a fight over it and they, he assumes uh, the sculptor is dead because he leaves them there to die in the fire. Now it's uh, many years later. I think Ten or so, and he's opening a new museum, and uh, the guy finds out he isn't dead. So that that one kind of wasn't it wasn't like that as much in the first one, um, and so he decides to kill that guy. And basically, what's happening is he's killing people and taking their bodies. See, in the other in the, the original one, they were uh, they were. They killed the people, but then, like, they made it look like an accident, and then they went to the morgue and took the bodies. And this one, they just kill them and take the body right away. And then, so there's a there's another girl who, uh... I can't remember in this one if she's a reporter. can't remember, I'm sorry. But there's a girl who her friend goes missing, who he thinks looks just like his Marie Antoinette. And so he's like... He kills her, and... He's coating them in wax and putting them in his museum because his hands are messed up. Their claws <laughs> from being burned, and so and then he has like guys who are pretending to be sculptors for him, so people think they're doing it, but really they're just killing everybody and covering them in wax. And um, yeah, so that's that's the basic plot of this story. Uh, I like this one, I think, more than the first one. Just uh, it's a little bit newer. It's a little more uh, well done. And, um, like, the audio and video are pretty bad, but they're better than you would think for, for a movie from the 50s. And, uh, you know, again, I don't understand. He's got this wax face, but it looks normal, and then when they punch him, it cracks. So, again, I don't understand that, but, you know, anybody who likes uh, horror movies, this, I mean, this is a little slow, a little boring compared to today's movies, but it's definitely worth a check checking out. Uh, for a score on this, I would have to give it a 3 out of 5, um, but still we're, still we're checking out. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.